Electro Classics are products dear to our hearts. They are projects that continue to inspire and hold their merits for learning and sharing. In today's video, we'll be looking at the One Arm Bandit, which is a simple, fun, nostalgic, and educational Electro Classic, which, by the way, you can purchase on the Electro Store at a special price. This Selector Circuit classic from 1984 shows a playful application of CMOS series logic integrated circuits in combination with LEDs. A highly popular combination at the time. The project imitates a spinning digit type slot machine. In keeping with the Electro Classics tradition, the circuit board designed for the one armed bandit has the schematic printed on the front side and the circuit operation on the back. A wooden engraved stand is included in which you can insert your populated circuit. All the components that you need are included in the kit, as well as a coin cell battery. Here is my board, place it in the wooden desktop stand included in the electric kit before assembly. The stand is really cool for showcasing or even showing off. This project uses an expensive through hole parts from the old school bin or drawer, but you don't have to worry about finding them. All parts are included in the kit, which makes the assembly really easy and simple. You can refer to the schematic printed on the board to know where the components should be soldered. Start with the components that have the lowest profile, in this case the resistors, insert them into their designated places on the PCB and solder them. Move on to components with intermediate height, such as the capacitors and the IC sockets, and finally solder the tallest components. Now that my board is assembled, I will insert the integrated circuits and the battery. Please note that the 3V battery may not be included in the kit, so you can find yours or alternatively use two external 1.5V batteries, which you can connect using a battery holder. The circuit diagram is based on a stage binary counter divider, IC1. At the start of the game, it is reset by spring-loaded push-to-make switch S2, causing logic low levels on counter outputs Q1 to Q7, which in turn cause LED1 to LED5 to remain off. Also, the output of NAND Schmidt trigger IC2A is logic high, switching on relaxation oscillator IC2C. The oscillator signal is inverted in IC2D and LED6 light. The game is started by pulling switch S1's lever downward. This turns on oscillator IC2B which starts clocking the counter. As soon as S1 is released, IC2B ceases to oscillate and the counter stops at a random output combination for Q1 to Q7. One or several of LED1 to LED5 will light at that time, indicating the number of points scored by the player. If you want to learn more about the circuit operation, I suggest that you read the Electro Circuit Special 2023 issue, in which Elector published an article about this project along with many other interesting circuits. In the description of this video, you'll find the link to the One Arm Pandit kit on the Elector store. Order yours now and let the fun begin!